you doing, guys? Hi. Today, we're going to be reviewing Disney's Song of the South from 1946, the release that StinkyTuna.com did. A lot of people have asked us about this release, so we decided we're going to just do a video on it and try to answer as many questions as we have about it. As many people were wondering. And actually, we watched it today, so, so it's fresh on the brain. Yeah. So we're just going to dive right in and let's just talk about it. So the first thing I wanted to talk about is um, it's pretty much the Stinky Tuna release on Blu-ray. This is the title right here that we're going to be talking about. This is the 2020 edition that they released of the Japanese Laserdisc. This is in 1080i transferred from the Japanese Laserdisc that right now in Japan... That release is public domain. So right now they can take that release and make this. A lot of people think it's an actual bootleg. But it technically isn't. Because the way they did it, their loophole around it is they took the public domain Japanese Laserdisc, transferred it to Blu-ray, and then imported it from Japan. So it's technically not a U.S. release. Almost any company can pick it up and release it. Yeah, pretty much. It's just like in the U.S. with uh, Night of the Living Dead that pretty much any company can release that because nobody technically owns it because it's public. So what they did was, on the disc, it says, um, released by RKO Pictures and Walt Disney Studios. Uh, it goes all the way around yeah. the disc in Little Red. Not for sale in the U.S. unless sold as import made in Japan. So when you look at the disc, I'll pull out the disc. Let me spin it around and show it to you. Tiny little bra uh, black print. Yeah, but the disc right here, as you can see. And then right around it, it just says that. This is an actual BDR release, as you can see. Yep. Nice and black. Dark. Yep. And then uh, the actual artwork for the... They actually did reversible artwork that they have mm -hmm. U.S. artwork there for everybody in the U.S. that can read it. This is the back right there. But then, because it has to be a Japanese import, what they did was... There you go. They did Japanese artwork as well. For the release. So the inside artwork is actually all in J Japanese. To make it legal in the United States. So it's pretty much you just reverse the artwork. And that's what the disc sits on. Yeah. Basically. And you have your American release. Now, when you watch this movie, everything is actually in U.S. There's no Japanese writing on the menu. The, uh, there's no... Subtitles? There's, well, yeah. There's, subti there's subtitles in the movie. In American and in Japanese. That you can actually change it. I was say you can add those in. Yeah. But the actual movie shows in English. Yeah. There's no dubbing or anything like that. Because the movie was actually made in the U.S. Um, the actual audio and video to this release is really nice that the colors are really crisp uh the audio is really good everything sounds mm -hmm. really good there's some graininess when you pause it you can notice it as it's playing for the for what they did to this it actually looks really really good the colors are really bright yeah it looks very nice it's really crisp there's two edits that you can notice. You can barely see. It's not going to like bother you if you're watching it, but if you're like looking for it, you're going to notice it. Yeah. There's one towards further into the film that is a really harsh cut. And then right after it, there's a little bit of a, a grain effect and a couple of cigarette burns here and there from that release. But it's only a few seconds. Yeah. It's only a few yeah. seconds and it just, it goes away. And after that, it looks it's fine. It's not a big deal. Yeah. It looks pretty much as good as this is your um, 
this is actually going to look. There's, I haven't seen anything else that looks as clear as a release as this. So for the money, I think it's actually worth it. Mm -hmm. Right now on their website, they have it for $14.46. And like I said, if you're looking for this movie and you're looking to buy it, this is the way to go. I recommend it. Yeah. yeah. There's actual DVD bootlegs of, of it. And, you know, I, I don't think this would be the best release. This is the best release you're going to find. But, you know, there are other releases out there on DVD that you can find on eBay. And, you know, you can get the uh, PAL VHS that's actually, you know, a uh, regular Disney release out of the UK. But you need a PAL v uh, VHS player to play mm -hmm. it. Or you can get the Japanese Laserdisc and pay $100, and you still have to get a Laserdisc that will play that release. So Yeah, this isn't cheap if you want the Laserdisc or the uh, original release. Yeah, because that movie was on, this movie was only released in Japan through the Laserdisc, in the UK on a PAL VHS, and then it was released mm -hmm. in South America as a VHS as well. That's Region 2. So, it's pretty much the only way you can get it besides Stinky yeah. Tuna. I'm very happy to have this release. I enjoyed it very much. Yeah. It was really good. The story was really good. We really mm -hmm. enjoyed it. You know, Even our little one liked it. Yeah. There is, you know, controversy with this film. But, to me, it's, it's not really that bad compared to some other things nope. that, not you know, really that bad. we've I seen. I feel the same way. That we've seen on TV, you know, to me it's not that bad. Probably for the period, yeah, it seems worse. But to me, I They're don't. They're picking at it too much, I think. Yeah, I don't really see an issue with it. Mm -hmm. um, another thing about this movie, it's it's in full screen. No widescreen, sorry. Yeah, it's in full screen. That's the actual aspect ratio of when it was released. So. That's the only way you can actually see it is full screen. I would it? definitely like to see it in widescreen, but to be able to watch it, just to be able to watch it, full screen is fine with me. I enjoyed it that much. Yeah. Um, also, there's a bunch of special features on this release as well. On For special features, there's actually four special features on this. The first one is called Tar Baby, the storybook. That one is... Uh, it's like a read-along. Yeah. I, I can't remember exactly when it was released, but there's an actual storybook that came with a, a, a 45 record that you actually read along with it. And when you hear the chime, turn the page. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. There's an actual special feature of that book of what actually made this movie of how it all started that... You goes know, along with it. that goes along with it. And they actually show you the whole book and they actually play the record and show you the pages. So that, if you don't have the uh, storybook and they're just reading it, they actually read it and turn the pages as so, they yeah. uh, so, you the story. So you know what it's actually based on. It was very informative. Yeah, I really enjoyed that. Another special feature on this is Splash Mountain. Uh, the virtual ride. That's... Complete point of view. So it's like you're sitting in the log flume and it takes you all the way down the ride and it shows you what is on each side. Yeah. And it's pretty much this one is filmed from Disneyland in California from their ride because that ride is, I think it's only in three parks at Walt Disney World, uh, Disneyland in California, and then over in Japan at Tokyo? Yeah, Tokyo. I think it's Tokyo Disney. So it's the only three places. So right now, the Splash Mountain, like I said, it's really nice. They actually filmed that in 4K. It says it right at the beginning that it was filmed mm -hmm. in 4K. And it's a really nice uh, POV shot of the whole entire ride. Yeah. Right now, with the ride changing to uh, Princess in the Fog ride. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's pretty much... It's going to be a time capsule of what this ride looked like and what it was since yeah. uh, 1996. Yeah, 1996 when 96. it was originally opened. I actually went there like in the late 80s or early 90s or something like that. And um, I went on that ride and it was really great to see that ride and like 
sit there and like go through it again. It's yeah. Fun. So that was really nice. And it's not like a two minute like quick ride. It's like six minutes or so. Yeah. And then uh, another special feature was classic Burr Rabbit TV commercials. There was oh, a yeah. black and white. Yeah, there were the old black and white TV commercials of the classic Burr Rabbit and Burr Fox and Burr Bear, and they showed. All of those as well on this release. And then the last special feature is a documentary called Song of the South Band. This was actually made, I think, by a YouTuber. And it was actually on their YouTube channel. And they actually talked to him about using mm -hmm. it for this release. Because he did a really good job on this. And it's pretty much about should Song of the South be banned. And pretty much telling the history of Song of the South and everything about Other it. Other points they mentioned. Yeah. Pretty much talking with uh, Bob Iger. Well, not literally talking to him, but talking about different things. And uh, one of the cartoonists about... What if, he thought. Yeah, what he thought. And pretty much saying that one day they're going to do something with Song of the South. Yeah. But they don't know yet. And, you know, how couple of celebrities think that it should be released so the special features are worth a watch yeah are worth a watch it's mm -hmm. it's like i said pretty pretty informative on everything about song of the south so you know i like i said for this release i don't think you're going to find a better release no. of this movie to buy and for 14 dollars and 46 cents to me it's a steal yeah. it's like i said there's no better way to watch this movie. I really enjoyed the uh, storybook read along. Yeah, I liked it. that was really good. And like I said, the movie was, I thought was a really good movie. We all enjoyed it. And my son had a couple of good laughs with the animated mm -hmm. shorts. Because even the animated shorts, they released those on VHS as sing-alongs. That they pretty much cut all the live action out and just showed the animated ones. But even those, mm -hmm. those are out of print and super hard to find. I sang along with the song Zippity Doo Dah, Zippity A. Yeah. I love that song. When when uh, we finished watching the movie, we actually went on eBay mm -hmm. and looked at the Song of the South uh, sing-alongs that just had, you know, the animated stuff. And mm -hmm. the VHS for those go between 30 and $70, yeah. depending on what type of condition you want. Yeah. So like I said... Nothing is going to be cheaper than buying this release. And like I said, to me, it's the best release you're going to find in this movie. And the color is great with the uh, people, the characters to the cartoon. And the way they combine them, it looks really good to me. Yeah. I enjoyed it. So both of us give this movie thumbs up. It's Two thumbs up? A, oh, yeah. <laughs> but... Uh, I hope you like this video. Hope you found it informative and yeah. take something from it. Yeah. So, you know, this is pretty much going to be our first review of something. We've never done one before. So we wanted to give it a shot. Put this information out there. And, you know, hopefully you enjoyed it. So if you like this video, please hit, hit the, the like button. button. If Thank you didn't you. like it, hey, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. You know, we'll try another one another time. Uh, if you want to subscribe to us, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and we'll have more videos from you. If you want to leave a comment down below about anything that we talked about, leave a comment down below. I'll try to answer everything I can that I know about this film and about this release. We hope this video answers some of your questions. And if you had any um, questions in your head, should I buy it, shouldn't I buy it, maybe this helped you decide. Yeah, hopefully this pushes you over the edge or keeps you further away from it. But, but it's a great deal at like what 14 yeah 1446 1446 yeah so down in the description as well as our instagrams i'll leave a link down below to stinky tuna where you can actually find this release if you're looking for it yeah we'll just leave it there for you okay so until next time guys <laughs> okay bye bye